Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Plug and Play Tactic with me, Magoobidge, Gateshead, in what appears to be a very different season to what's been going on the last few seasons, and we're struggling. Since you were last with me, you saw us beat Benfica in the Champions League opening game. We then lost to Man United 4-0. A little bit of turmoil, having already lost to Man City in the Premier League. We then beat Reading with our reserve team in the Carabao Cup 3-2. We drew with Southampton 1-1 Premier League, which wasn't good. But we've beaten Anderlecht in the Champions League 2-1, which seems to be a change of our fortune because we followed that up with a fantastic win over Liverpool 4-1 at home. And we've just beaten Sheffield United 2-1 away from home. They scored an 86-minute goal to make it interesting the last five minutes. So we're now going to take on Galatasaray in the Champions League third game of the group. We've already won both games already. Win this game and we take a massive step to qualification. And then we're taking on Wolves in the Premier League who are currently fourth. Premier League table looks like this. We are eighth and we're on 15 points. We're behind Watford in seventh on goal difference. We're 10 points away from the league leaders. And most importantly of all, we're four points behind Wolves in fourth. Let's get into the game. So this has been my team the last few games. And the only change that I'm going to make is going to be none whatsoever. Pop-offs on not 89% fitness. In fact, I need to make that change. So I'm going to play Gonzalo as the centre-half rather than Pop-off. Here we go. Been playing well. My summer signing, Rogulic. Or Rogul Jitch in the middle of midfield has been great since he's come in. So team talk, passionate. Should we win this one fairly comfortably? Passionate, I've got faith in you. We change the view. Encourage the players. If we can get a good start, another win, it'll be good. It'll take us a massive step. And we I mean, looking at the rest of the group here, we're on seven points at the moment with this point against Galatasaray. And Electra on three. Benfica are bottom of the group on one point. And we've scored. And Lopez has scored to make it 1-0. I'm going to change this view. There's something wrong on the view of my computer at the minute. I've got a bit of a problem. So I'm going to change this to a 2D view. Just so it, it seems a little bit more streamlined. With no replays. I've got a bit of an issue at the minute with the way it's flowing. I'm trying to work it out. But this is Sunday. It's now... Half four. I'm trying to get this video out for six. So this is what I'm going to do. So you're going to see it 2D because it just seems to be better at the minute with the way the computer is running, which is a real pain, I know. But you can see it. So it's a bit of a different view. Cyrus with a throw. Keeper comes out and claims it. We're 1-0 up. 13 minutes gone. They play the ball forward and Jensen collects it. Jensen's in at right back. I looked at BT as my right back. His tackling stat is 10 out of 20 which is just shocking and I can't understand why I signed him if it's been like that but it's, surely it's just dropped over time but Poku shoots well wide but yeah at the moment as it stands we go five clear of Galatasaray who remain in second place in the group another highlight Martinez comes inside beats his man Guljic Poku Poku shoots just wide you can see more of the pitch. You can see more of the movement of the players. In the group, Benfica are 1-1 now with Anderlecht. So as it stands, I mean, we're well clear in the group. If, if we win this game, then qualification should be ours by the next game. And then we can play the reserve team in the remaining games. Right, free kick. Gonzalo to take it. Swings it in. There's the header. Goalkeepers fluffed it. And Parry has scored his second goal of the season. Back in midfield... And we're in control. 2-0. Good header. Good goal. Half time. 2-0. Really, really good result. Again, apologies. I'm trying to sort out the, the, the situation with the graphics card. I'm very pleased with your performance. Kick on second half. Let's demand more. A big league game coming up against Wolves. And we've scored a third. And it's Martinez from a Gonzalo free kick. Headed unchallenged into the far corner. 3-0. Brilliant. So with that, I can make changes. Let's rest players. Let's rest Martinez. Let's rest Poku. And let's rest L Lopez up front. Three changes. Playing well. 
Well in control in the group, Cyrus to take a long throw. Comes out to parry, fires over. That was unlucky. Our form's turned. It's picking up. We were a mess early in the season. To lose against Man City and then to lose as we did against Man United, as you saw in the last video, 4-0 at home. Shocking our real concerns over how we're going to do. O'Reardon, Zureb. O'Reardon's got his place in the team and I'm not changing the winning team at the minute. So Samuelson's got a fight, but he's only just signed. So he shouldn't kick off much. Henning sends in, shoots wide from a good layoff by Dimitrovic. 23 minutes to go. We're well in control. 3-0 up. Goal difference of plus 7. Anderlecht's getting thumped by Benfica. And Benfica with this result, 4-1. They go above Galatasaray into second in the group. Jensen inside to Parry. Spots the runner Henningsen. Plays a good ball. Henningsen's in behind and Henningsen scores his fifth goal of the season. When you play incisive football, it is good. Really, really good. 4-0 up. Excellent. Players are playing well. They're confident as well. These last few results will go a long way to restore our confidence as we move forward throughout the season. Hopefully, we can beat Wolves in the next game and we can close the gap. 4-0. Excellent performance. Passionate. Very pleased. It was here. Yeah, Benfica won 4-1. So that was good. Another 2 million. Send the assistant. Parry could do a rest. We'll wait and see. Played very well. So let's move forward and take on Wolves in the Premier League at the weekend. News update. Zureb is out for a month with a twisted ankle, which isn't good. So to the Premier League then on the Saturday. And it's Watford Man United in the lunchtime game. Burnley, Swansea, Cardiff, Sheffield United. Derby, Newcastle. We're playing Wolves at home. Man City, Brighton, Tottenham, Blackburn, Arsenal, Liverpool in the late game. So here we go. This is Wolves and we've got Zuro out with a twisted ankle. And they're talking about resting parry, but I can't afford to do so. So Popov comes back in for Gonzalo. And the reason I'm playing Gonzalo at the back here is, let's have a look at his stats. He can play centre-back. Marking 13, tackling 13, jumping reach 10, acceleration 15, positioning 12. Everything's decent. So, or do I play parry there against Wolves with Gonzalo in the midfield? I might stick with that for the time being. So, Riordan, Cyrus, Gonzalo, Popov, Jensen, Poku, Rogulgic, Parry, Martinez, Lopez, Henningsen. Let's get the win. Oh, Zureb's not available. Let's change him with... Berger. There you go. Berger comes on back onto the bench. He's not been fit. If we can follow up with another good result, push our way at that table. <clears throat> Assertive. We're on a good run lately. Passionate. I've got faith in you. Let's encourage the players. So we've got the throw. Cyrus takes a long throw. And it's there. Henningsen has scored after a minute and sixth goal of the season. And that pushes us right up to fifth place, which is a good start. Really good start. From the long throw, keeper was stranded, heads it in. That'll calm everyone down. Our goal difference is only plus four. Needs a few goals now to pick it up. Compared to Man United, their goal difference is plus 25, which is just ridiculous. Right, their attack, head out straight to Oredham. Spots Poku, can't find him. They've got some space, but Cyrus does well to hold him up initially. Go back inside, looking for a ball to the far post. Cross comes in, headed over the bar. 20 minutes gone, we're 1-0 up, need a bit more. O'Reardon takes a short goal kick to pop off. Martinez inside to parry, loads of space. Lopez up to Henningsen, good ball out wide to Poku. Poku steps inside, but they, they step in and clear the ball away. When they're on the counter attack, we need to shut him down. Win the challenge. We don't. Good save, the goalkeeper. One all. At one all. One nil their corner even. In my head, I was thinking he just stopped it from being one all. They have another header. Comes off the stanchion and cleared away. Demand more from the players. We've now got a free kick edge of the box. Gonzalo to take it. Puts it just wide. 
Half hour gone. Siddle takes the goal kick for Wolves. And Martinez wins it, heads it forward. Jensen picks up the loose ball. Pop off to Jensen. Goes all the way back to the keeper. O'Reardon. Gonzalo to Parry. Spots Poku. Finds him. Poku steps inside into the box and just shoots just wide. Seen that too many times from Poku lately. Needs to get his shooting boots on. Highlight. Cyrus with a throw deep in our half. Well, Gorgic finds Lopez who flicks the ball onto nobody. Easy for Wolves just to mop up. They play it out from the back. Henderson wins the ball. Dennis is in. Good challenge. Gonzalo with a challenge. Excellent. Brilliant. That's the job we've asked him to today at centre half. Approaching half time, it's 1 0, but they've had the better of the game. You have to argue. So, with that, dressing room. Assertive. I'm far from pleased. Hand over to the assistant to the rest. I want passion from my players. Keep an eye on Martinez. 78%. 50 minutes gone. 1 0. Corner or long throw. Another one. Poku heads it inside. Heads towards goal and the goalkeeper saves it. Lopez is docked to a 6.5. So you're off. Dimitrovic for you. Gutierrez, the usual change for Martinez. Cater for Poku. Just to give us a bit more emphasis wide and up front, which hopefully in key moments can be the difference. Long throw by Jensen. Comes out. Hits the crossbar twice, three times. Goal kick. Get creative to the players. Right, it's Wolves' turn for a highlight and they're in. And O'Reardon stands near post and collects the ball nice and simple. Popoff takes a free kick now. 66 minutes gone. 1-0. Go back to O'Reardon. Gonzalo. Spots Henningsen. Flicks the ball out wide to Gutierrez. Inside the box. Has a shot. Keeper saves it. Cater. Shots blocked and cleared away for a corner. Good move. Let's get the second goal and wrap the game up. Corner, Cyrus, Henningson mops the ball up, goes wide to Cater, keeps the ball in play, fires it towards the, the edge of the box, but it comes to nothing. 20 to go, 1 0 still, big, big game this. They head the corner away, and Cyrus is going to get there, and he does. But then gives the ball away and shoots from a ridiculous position over the bar. Cross comes in. Cater scores. And that's the second goal. Brilliant corner from Jensen, the new signing, who his report, coach report says he's a leading championship player. He's come in replacing BT, who had that shocking tackling rate, rating of 10. And we've gone two up. And we should have won the game now. 15 to go. That should be it. Gutierrez fouled. Straight red card. Does us a favour. Right, Cyrus takes another long throw. Flicked on, but straight to the keeper, who fires it away early. And Deris is in again. Closed down by Gonzalo. And O'Riordan saves it. We drop down to sixth place. Cardiff for winning, so they've gone above us. Liverpool's got a game in hand, so has Chelsea. Chelsea can't catch us at the minute. So at worst, we're going to be seventh. It's an improvement on where we were, which is the main thing. The team is beginning to get their act together, which is just all important after our start. Very nice victory. Well done. So let's play the rest of the Premier League games. So Saturday's games, Watford Man U was 0-0. Burnley beat Swansea. Cardiff beat Sheffield United, which is why they're going above us into sixth. Newcastle beat Derby away. We beat Wolves. Man City drew with Brighton, which is a poor result for them. Tottenham smashed Blackburn 6-1. And Liverpool beat Arsenal. And Arsenal are struggling again. So Sunday's games, Southampton beat Aston Villa. Good result for Southampton. And Leicester beat Chelsea. So, as it stands, we are seventh, which is good. We are now just two points off the top four. Liverpool 
on 20 points in fourth. And we are currently eight points behind Man City, who are top of the league. But if you look at our form now, we've picked up. We're now unbeaten in seven games in all competitions, which is good. Got Brentford in the Carabao Cup fourth round coming up at home. Got a whole host of games coming up. So what we're going to do, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to move all the way through to December now. We're going to play the last Champions League group game against Anderlecht, followed by Tottenham at home. Tottenham are currently third in the league. So we're going to play all these games, try and get through a little bit because obviously these videos in the season is where it's at. So yeah, so it's looking good. It's looking better than it was, which is the main thing. If you're enjoying the video and the series, smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, but also make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss my videos come out, which is every day, 6 o'clock. Have a good rest of your Sunday evening. See you all tomorrow.